Hey guys, it's Ojo here. If you want to get your stream alerts and your music from your streaming rig to your gaming rig for whatever reasons, now I'll explain mine. Obviously, you need your stream alerts on your gaming rig so you can hear any follows and anything that happens regarding the stream alerts. You need to be able to hear that on your gaming rig. Now, unless you've got a hardware mixer, you need to find a software solution for this. I also play music on my streaming rig, but I also use the visualizer for part of my background. And I'll show you that now here, which I think you can probably see. As you can see, I'm playing music, but you can't hear it. You can see it visualized in the background. Now, I can't do this from my gamer rig. I can't send this visualization over without... You know, I, I wouldn't even know how to do it if I was thinking about it. I'm just going to stop that music. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to switch over to the desktop. And the first thing that I need you to download is a program called Voice Meter Banana which is this here. So you can either go to voicemeter.com or just click the link in the description below. Once you've installed it, it'll give you two more or three more, I think it is actually, additional sound devices. Your cable input, which is a virtual cable, an auxiliary input, and a voice meter main input. You need to set your main input on your streaming rig to this by just right-clicking, set default device, but on this one here. As you can see, I've already done it. What this now means is that any sound that is played on the streaming rig will be put through this voice meter input as, as as if it was your speakers. This is then picked up here on the voice meter um, virtual input for the main input here. As you can see, the auxiliary is here and the auxiliary is here. So it sends the sound directly to here. Now again, if I load this, press play, you can now see that the music is making a noise on the streaming rig, but you can't hear it. So the way you do this is you would send it over to the gamer rig. So I'm just going to stop the music here and show you how to set that up. Click on VBAN and you need to set the source as bus B1. You need to give it a name. So I called my Twitch alerts because originally that's what it was for. But I obviously always use it for music as well. The IP address needs to be the IP address of your gamer rig or where you want to hear the sounds coming from which is probably your gamer rig. The port leaver's default is 6980. Sampler rate, I set mine to 44100, um, just to put a little less stress on the network. Uh, not that it matters, I imagine, but you know, that's what I've done. Net quality, this is something that differs from person to person and machine to machine and network to network. Medium works for me, but try what you can along here. Your goal here is to get no errors. So you want zero errors here when it's playing music across the network or as very little errors as you can is what errors translates to is it translates to popping noises clipping noises white noise hissing noises audio distortion all those kinds of lovely things that make your stream sound awful once you've done that close this and then you need to tick this box here or highlight it at least by just clicking it once what this then does is when music is playing in here, it sends this to the virtual input here. Now, if we go back into here, we'll see the source is bus P1. So now the speakers are now sending the audio from the speakers or duplicating the audio from the speakers in real time to this here, which is then going to the VBAN as the source to the IP address of your gamer rig. So that is now this bit here set up now i just want to point out that you do not need to set this here this is my microphone you do not need to set this here either this is just stuff from when i was doing other things with my stream it's irrelevant you don't need anything in here you don't even need a hardware out set to here at all as far as i'm aware if you do for some reason just copy what i've put here but i don't think it's necessary okay we're going to move over to the gamer rig now on the gaming rig you want to download and install voice me a banana again now this is uh, just as simple as setting it up on the streaming rig. It's pretty much in reverse. So you don't need to set anything in your sound settings over here at all just yet. The first thing you need to do is you need to click VBAN and on the incoming streams, you need to set the same name, the IP address of the streaming rig where the stream is coming from for the audio stream, same port, and I think the sampler rate is set by the streaming rig itself or wherever it's coming from. Do the same net quality and then do virtual in number one. 
So what's now going to happen is, is it's going to come from the streaming rig into virtual in number one, which is this one here, and it'll start playing music in here. Now, as you'll see over here, my speakers are set to my creative sound blaster, not the voice media input. Now, if, my speaker, if I set this to this and this, you would hear it straight away because it's being played in here. However, it's not set like that because that's not what I want to use. I want to use my sound card. Pretty obvious, right? So how do we get this from here to be able to hear it in our speakers? The way to do it is you set it to B1, which means now the sound goes from here to virtual in, round over to here, uh, sorry, to here, to B1, which is here. Let's move that over. Now that means that B1, we can close this here, is being sent into the recordings. And B1 is this voice meter output. So now we need to just right click, properties, listen, listen to this device, and now just select your headphones. Once you've selected the headphones, it now means it bounces from here um, into the headphones, and then you'll be able to hear it. So then what happens from here is it goes from your normal speakers because it will now be playing um, up here in your speakers. And then it'll be sent back to the streaming rig so that you hear it, the stream hears it, and there's no echo and no duplication whatsoever. And it's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to just do a quick run through of how to do it in one go. If I go over to the streamer rig, which is here, load my music, press play, you'll see that I'm now hearing it. So it's now playing from Fubar, is now going directly into my playback devices here, which is this bit here, which is this bit here, as you can see it's moving, which is now being sent from here to here. And if I click this off, it's going to break the sound. As you can see, there's no sound in here. So we'll turn that back on. So that's going from here into the VBAN from bus one to my IP address at a medium quality with zero errors, as you can see. So we close that down. I'm going to leave that playing and switch over to the gaming rig. So that is now coming over into the VBAN here. So it's coming from the address here of the streaming rig into virtual in one virtual in one is this bit here as you can see and if I turn this off here you see that I can no longer hear it because it's no longer playing to this here the reason why I can hear it is because it's being sent from here to here and then into the recording devices over here and I guess the sound is a little bit too low for it to be seen here but it is being played here which I can show you go to the listen levels it's now being listened to into my speaker. So if I untick this and press apply, no longer hear it because it's not being listened onto the speakers. So just press apply, press OK, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments or come find me on my Twitch channel and I'll answer them there for you. Thanks guys, enjoy.